Um, always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Take a look at one of our four agreements. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 61. NASDAQ is up 74. S&P is up 5. Gold contract trading down $2.70 at $17.82 an ounce. We got silver off 27 cents, 24 dollars 17 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 78 cents, 82 dollars 64 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down 14 ticks, trading 130.06. Thirty-year off 12 at 157.24. And king dollar, king dollar is up 213 ticks, got outside its lower range again, rejected actually lower price, 93.771. Euro is at 116. The yen is at 113.97. The British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This baby wants to tag the highs, and I expect coming into Friday, we'll tag it on Friday. Uh, right now, the high that we're talking about inside the SPY, inside the S&P, is 454.05. Uh, bottom line, we've hit 452.91. Contraction of volume is a monster. There's no two ways about that. But the bottom line, you are holding price. And, uh, you know, you come into the a Friday of a week that you've gone up, probability is that you're going to go higher. You know, when, when you go up four, four days in a row, folks, okay, up even to sideways, um, it's very unusual that you're going to go south on a Friday. Happens, that's for sure. We know, the, <laughs> we know in the market anything can happen, but bottom line, probability-wise, you'll probably still have a positive day. We take a look at the uh, NDX 100. Uh, the NDX 100 right now just got over the highs of yesterday, which is 376.65. Uh, we are at 376.70. So this will be intriguing to see. Uh, bottom line, can it, can it hold that price? Because what we are going to get inside the NDX 100 is that you're going to get a contraction of volume in a monster way. And you can see what just happened here. So check this out. Okay, this is the Qs. You can see the spike in the Qs is huge, man. I mean, and, and let me show you something here. Man, you got to see this. NQ, this is the second day in a row that we had this. And you got some monsters moving this market in a, in a big way too. Look at this bar, and I can show you this bar. Just look at this bar, man. That's your 930 bar. Now, the, and this is in the futures market, okay? So, so picture something, folks, okay? You know, you can, you can make the case, okay, the market opens at 930, but this is futures. Futures are open 24 hours a day. They get active in the S&P, and, the, and then NQs at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in a monster way. This is basically uh, a trader, flat out, coming in, pushing that market around, and they did it. They did it again. And if I show you, okay, so that was, that's today, this morning. And you can see the, the, the contract volume just exploded. You're talking about 29,000 contracts in a minute. Uh, we just got, now this would be interesting here, you just got 10,000 contracts basically in the 10-minute bar. Now, it just took out. Uh, basically a B point. So this is going to be really intriguing to see, can they really jam this thing coming into the close? Jamming meaning really send it higher. Because if you fail at this point, now this is where this gets cool. So pitch this. I'm showing you that the amount of buying that was done at 930 this morning. This last buy here was a monster. And two different things can end up happening when you, when you come up to highs, right? This bar can be all about that the, whoever the trader is, is looking for more buy points and they spike the market. And what I mean by buy points, folks, okay, is that you can put in, and large traders have this, okay, and, well, small traders too, but you can put in either buy points or sell points over the market. So what they were looking for when they spiked that, they were looking that are there more orders over the market for a breakout. And if there are, then you'd see that explode topside. If they don't see it, what they're going to do is they're going to sell the heck out of the market. That's kind of, that's, that's a way that traders set it up. And it's a smart way, because the bottom line is that what you're doing is that you're pushing the market, and you can do this on the way down, too. Bottom line, as you push highs and push lows, 
The market is always, they're, they're probing. They're probing the market, looking for those buys and looking for those sells. That's, that's the bottom line. Gold, gold contract out here. You know, this is going to be interesting coming into a Friday. It's always interesting coming into a Friday inside the gold market. And we have out here, you get a sideways move today. Uh, you get light volume. You get 130,000 contracts that are traded. You know, you get an inside day here. Uh, my take is that gold is building cause to first off get up to this 1837 level. We're at 1782. We take a look at the silver market. Silver had finally caught a bid yesterday. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you're giving back 24 cents of that bid today. Uh, not, that's not a lot. We've done 56,000 contracts out here. Uh, you're trading at a price point of 24.18, and uh, even on the weekly, it's going to be pretty cool because uh, it's looking to get up to this 24.95. What we've made thus far is you made 24.55, and good old, uh, let's go look at it for 30 year actually, because I did the 10-year uh, note when I did the update. So the 30-year, okay, so the 30 year hasn't broken the swing yet. Interesting. Okay, so... There's still hope for notes and bonds, man, to go higher because this is what they have here. So your swing point is 157.03. We hit 157.07, and right now you have 157.23. Uh, yesterday you had volume out here of uh, 499,000 contracts. You get 418 today. Now, 418 is still pretty big. That's the bottom line. And good old King Dollar. What King Dollar did, King Dollar got back inside its higher trading range. The, range with the, the number to keep your eye on the King Dollar is 93.729. King dollar right now is up 222 ticks. You're trading at 93.779. Um, so bottom line, once you get, if you reject lower price, guess what? It's going to try to make a run again. And uh, we're on a Friday, so uh, we'll see where this uh, shakes out. If we go to the euro, we take a look at the euro out here. Euro right now is trading at uh, 116. You got the yen. Where is the yen here? The yen is trading at uh, 137. So we'll see where this shakes up. I want to say hi to Landon. Landon, good morning, man. I love you, pal. And what that's all about, folks, you got to love it. Tommy's son, Landon, he wakes up in the morning. They got room.